Do y'all see this? Can you see the numbers? Can anybody read the number? Thirteen thousand. No, look at the the EBT balance and the cash balance. Yeah, we just, is that thousands? Yeah, thirteen thousand four hundred and one eighty five cents and a cash balance of four thousand four hundred and I think ninety eight dollars and eighty five cents. Um, so the mig the migrant uh the 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 illegal immigration that they dumped off down the street. So I'm, I'm from out uh, Lindale, the Holy City. They dumped all of them people in front of the police station. This is the receipt that somebody picked up after they uh, was in a convenience store. They gave them people close to 20 grand. And it's a, a homeless encampment on Kedzie and uh, 16th Street full of black people that have been there since I was a little kid. And it's another one right down the street. So you mean to tell me that these people who been here this whole time, you don't get no fuck about. But some people that's not supposed to be here, you get them 20 grand. When it's right. when it's when it's people in America that suffer from shit you specifically did, and you want us to get on board with helping you do more of that, get the fuck out of here. It's people, it's, it's people go to work every single day, been working for 10 years, don't got two thousand dollars in their checking and savings account. It's somebody right now that can't pay one bill. And trying to figure it out, trying to get a third job and drive Uber Eats. You just gave these people 20 grand for showing up someplace they weren't supposed to go. When the people who supposed to be here, you ain't take care of. Then you want to get $38 billion. To... No, bro. I can't go. We ain't going. I can't go. I, I hey. can't. Go. I hey, no, know. but then but then you have a you have a lot, you have a lot of people that say, oh, but they can't help themselves. And the people here can help themselves. So that's why they got the money. That's that argument. Then that argument comes into play. Well, they have to depend on the government because they, they're not from here. And so they have to have the resources and they, they have to be given uh, a hand up to, to get acclimated within American society and this and this and that. And how can you, how can you fault them for wanting a better life from where they come from? And so then you have that argument back and forth and you look like the a-hole because it looks like you're being harsh and you don't care for the common man or humanity, but it's not, it's not about that. It's almost like not taking care of the kids in your house and going, uh, going to adopt 15 kids from down the street and giving all your resources to those kids while your kids in your home go straight to hell. That, that to me, that's what it's like when it comes to immigration and how people kind of ration, like rational, like rational, um, find any type of, any type of balance or, um, connect their mind to heart where they will disconnect their mind from their heart with being rational with like you said how can we have children on the street people on the street for 20 years but then somebody can get dropped off right down the street from you and each individually be given twenty thousand dollars to a better life just to get off the street it's like having it's like having a bad like evil co-parent who goes on to become a great step parent? I'm right, gonna get Ruth in there. Go ahead, Ruth. What are your thoughts about it, man? If I'm uh, basing it off of this interview right here, I actually had some respect for Trump um, and how he handled himself. He called them out immediately. I don't like the stuff he said in the past. He said bad stuff about you know Haiti before, but. He sounds like the most logical person on the stage. He asked her to define DEI, and she just repeated it. And that just reminds me of, uh, I'm watching Kam Kam Kamala, Kamala. If she was Black, her name would be Kamala, right? But anyway, moving on. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, and she just repeated it. And when Kamala's talking, or Kam Kam Kamala's talking, she says this same thing to like she's so trying to spin it and sound smart but she sounds really really silly when she's talking and trump kind of does a little bit of that today like going around and said oh the problem is that the problem is the problem is and people ain't got no money and inflation and this and that but he did add some kind of something to the conversation while i've heard kamala say the same thing and say absolutely nothing 
if we're going on clips. So um, I think that the lady was rude. Um, it's like you get, it's like if you didn't like somebody, that's your problem. Like, but now you make them, even if they were evil person, you make them look better because you couldn't control yourself. You couldn't control your emotions. You couldn't control your disdain for him. And that's how people got to stop being like, stop being so passionate of, of having hate for somebody you never met. And then having love for somebody that never did nothing for you and don't plan on doing nothing for you and then told you to your face, I don't plan on doing a damn thing for you. So to me, it's like we have been so um, abused in the past that we don't even know what our abuser looks like, how it sounds. And this this lady's trying to go off of a gimmick to be president. And it's like, y'all gonna let them do that to you. So personally, I'm trying not to get all emotional about politics because what we really need to be doing is fixing our own lives and working in our own communities and trying to make ha uh, it happen for ourselves because either way, they're not going to be doing the most stuff. And then I didn't realize that um, Trump did say stuff he did for black people, which he said he saved the HBCUs. Y'all can tell me if that's a lie or not. But if you did that, that's been, that's more than what Kamala was been accused of. So they had uh, funding that traditionally got renewed on the time schedule every year. And he just extended the time period. And I think he gave them uh, a little bit more than than before. So to make it seem like he just came up with that is false, but he did actually do it. And well, he has more so. That's what president and, uh, all the HBCU presidents to the White House. Obama never had that during his term. Right. So he did a lot. He, he does stuff. But we got to admit when he does, when somebody's right, just admit they're right. It's not about your what you thought about them in the in the past. It's about like, what it, what, what am I looking at right now? I might not like you for nothing, but if you say something that's true, I have to accept that truth. And I have to rearrange my whole brain to accept the truth. But we want to be lied to so bad. We want to we wanna listen to what sounds good. And that's not going to work this time. It, it, you're just going to find yourself in trouble. Yeah, you got to understand too that people are just lazy and they're lazy with their minds. They don't want to do no research. I was having a conversation about this and I'm guilty of it too. Uh, I think before we do anything, we got to do the research. Um, anybody can tell us anything, right? And they also got we also have to understand how things work because the president only has so, so much power. So then that you need to be focused on not only the president, but everything that's, everybody that you elected in plays a part into how everything turns out. But people just only want to show up just to vote for the president. And then they just, putting Democrat, 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 or Republican, Republican, Republican. Do your research to see what these guys have, have done, see what their track record has been. I mean, even, even look to see what uh, Joe Biden was doing when he was with Obama, and then look to see what uh, Kamala was doing and Biden was doing. See, see who was doing what, and then make a decision off of that.